Now that we have shown you some discrete point auditory discrimination and grammar-based listening tests, let's move on to tests where authentic texts are used. In real life, we don't usually attend to every word in the text. We listen only for the information we want. For example, when we listen to a weather report, we may want to know only the signal number of an approaching storm. Then we would know whether there would be classes or not. We may not pay attention anymore to other information such as temperature or the time of the tides. In this segment, we shall talk about some listening tests where the stimuli are real-life listening texts. Let's watch this one where a conversation is used as the stimulus. Class, there are two questions on the board. Okay? What I'd like you to do is to read them silently and then try to remember them. The two questions are, what do the people want to do? And can they do it? What I'm going to do is to read to you a dialogue between two persons. And then on your paper, write down the answers to these two questions on the board. Are you ready? Yes, yes ma'am. The dialogue goes, Riza, Tita Marie, can I have a party on Saturday night? Aunt Marie, a party? Well, who will be your guests? Riza. Angie and Nanette. And the boys? Oh, Andy, Dominic, and Khalil. About ten guests? Yes. All right, but not too late. You have to stop playing the music at eleven. Sure. Thanks, Aunt Marie. You're sweet. Now write the answers to the questions on the board. was a very realistic situation, wasn't it? And observe the questions. They ask about the basic information conveyed in the conversation. Of course, in your tests, several conversations will have to be presented, either live or taped. This time, let's listen to a broadcast of a basketball game. What questions do you usually ask when you listen to one? Okay, now let's see how a listening test with a radio broadcast as stimulus may be administered. Class, this morning we shall listen to a, an excerpt of a radio broadcast of a basketball game. Tani, can you read the questions on the board? What teams are playing? Which team is leading? What is the score? Who made the latest score? Thank you, Fanny. Now, these are the questions which you will answer as you listen to this excerpt. What I'd like you to do is to write down the answers to these questions on your answer sheets. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'll now play the tape. We're in the second half of tonight's game, ladies and gentlemen. This is a crucial point in the never-ending rivalry between the Red Scorpions and the Green Dragons. It's 62-61 in favor of the Green Dragons. If you want to use an excerpt from a radio broadcast, it is necessary that you make a recording of that broadcast. Use a portion of that broadcast as the stimulus. Of course, you have to situate that when you play the machine, the tape is right at that portion which you want to use as your stimulus. Did you notice that in both conversation and the radio broadcast, the questions asked were on details listeners very often are most interested in knowing. You don't really have to ask a question on every single detail in the text. Doing that will surely tax the memory capacity of the listener. Did you notice also that the questions were presented to the testees before the texts were presented? Doing this prepares the listener to be selective about the information to focus on. 
Earlier in this episode, we also said that the response to a listening test may be nonverbal. We will show you one example where a map is used and another where pictures are used. Let's see how the test is administered. Class, you're going to hear someone asking for the location of the Eagle Building at Juan Rodriguez Avenue. Okay? What I'd like you to do is to locate these places on the map written on your test papers. And then after that, write their names on the correct places on the map. Are you ready, class? Yes, yes ma'am. Okay, listen very well. Oh, Betty, I have to go down to the Eagle Building. Do you happen to know where it is? Sure, it's on Doña Juana Rodriguez Avenue. Doña Juana Rodriguez, isn't that off E. Rodriguez Senior Avenue? That's right, just before E. Rodriguez runs into Gilmore Street. It's Eagle on the same side of the street as the Corinthian Hotel? No, it's on the other side, just before you get to the Phoenix Theater. Oh, I think I know where it is now. Thank you. Did you get that, class? Yes, ma'am. Now listen again and check over your answers. Okay, I'll repeat it. I'll play it again. Betty, I have to go down to the Eagle Building. Do you happen to know where it is? Sure, it's on Doña Juana Rodriguez Avenue. Doña Juana Rodriguez, isn't that off E. Rodriguez Senior Avenue? That's right, just before E. Rodriguez runs into Gilmore Street. It's Eagle on the same side of the street as the Corinthian Hotel? No, it's on the other side, just before you get to the Phoenix Theater. Oh, I think I know where it is now. Thank you. Are you finished, class? Yes, ma'am. Notice that in this test, a conversation is used as the stimulus. The test taker is to show comprehension by locating the building on the map. Enough cues are given in the conversation so the building can be located. It is expected that expressions such as as on blank street, off blank street, runs into blank street, just before blank street have been taken up in an earlier lessons on giving directions. The map has to be drawn on the answer sheet, so with the directions. Here is the answer sheet. You can use maps found in newspapers if you want to develop a test similar to the one just presented. And now, we are going to show you the last example for today. This time, the testees make associations between pictures and processes.